I purchased this ordinary plastic planter from my local dollar store and I just thought it was a cute shape and I liked the texture on it. I started off by giving this a scuff sanding using my surf prep sander just to help give my paint something to bite onto the plastic surface. The foam pad on my surf prep sander helped me to be able to sand over this curved surface. Next, I wanted to give this a coat of primer. I used 123 spray primer and this is their light gray color. I made sure to cover over all of the plastic. I wanna give this planter a springtime theme and so I'm gonna use this new Easter mold from Redesign with Prima. I'm gonna cast these using amazing casting resin from Illumilite. I mix together equal parts of A and B and then I'm gonna pour it into my silicone mold. This is a fairly small and detailed mold so I made sure to drizzle my resin in slowly and then I'm gonna let the liquid run in to fill in all the crevices. This is a 10 minute casting resin and so the working time is only about two minutes which means I need to pour fairly quickly. After that time the resin will start to set up and I wanna make sure before it starts setting up that I've got it all into my mold. If you're a little nervous about pouring resin this quickly, you can definitely mix up smaller batches and just pour a couple of the designs at a time. Next, I use these resin tools from Illumilite and they're fantastic. This is a little pin tool that helps me guide my casting resin into some of the small details on this mold. After about 10 minutes, once my resin has turned fully white, I'm able to pop it out of the mold and this is the result. I'm gonna use some Type Bond Quick and Thick Adhesive to go ahead and apply this to my primed planter. I find my placement on the front of the planter and I'm gonna apply this resin while it's still fresh. That way it has a little bit of flexibility to it so I can apply it to this curved surface. I'm gonna run my resin molds all the way around the circumference of this planter. This is just gonna be a decorative piece. I plan on actually putting an artificial plant in it so I'm not worried about water permeating the surface or it getting condensation that affects my glue or my paint finish. I applied my resin molds all the way around the circle of my planter until I liked the design and then I filled in the centers with some of the smaller pieces. I want to give this a fresh spring themed paint finish and so I'm going to use Wiseau paint and this green color is called dried thyme. In the centers of the wreaths I'm going to use cashmere to just give it a little bit of shading. I think the green will tie in nicely with whatever I put into this plant pot, uh, whether it be a colored flower or just some greenery. These are perfect colors for springtime. I'm using my Klingon brushes and I'm gonna brush the dried thyme around the outside edges of the wreaths and a little bit of that cashmere into the centers. And then I'm gonna come back with a dry neutral brush and I'm just gonna blend those colors together. I did have to work a little bit harder on this first coat just to dig that paint into the details of the wreath to make sure I got full coverage. I did one spot at a time and then turned it onto the next side and went on and did the same paint finish. I'm gonna repeat the same process around all the sides of this planter. I ended up having four molds that filled all the outside edges, and then I'm gonna to need to do it again for a second coat. So basically the same process, and I'm gonna do it eight different times. I did also make sure to carry my paint finish onto the inside edge of the planter so that you don't see any of the gray primer. My plant will cover the rest of the interior. I let my paint dry overnight and now I'm gonna come back and seal this. I'm just gonna use Wiseau Furniture Salve as my sealer. This is gonna be a light use pot. It's just meant for a home decor item. I'm gonna apply my furniture salve with a brush, massage it over my paint and then buff away the excess. Now I wanna add some interest to these frames, a little bit of aging, and I'm actually gonna do that using a mica powder. This is a really fine metallic powder from Redesign with Prima in a bronze color. And I'm using an artist brush to ride it along the edges of my molds. 
This is not only going to add a little bit of depth and dimension to my molds and set it off from the background, but it's also going to add a little bit of sparkle because the, uh, the mica powder is actually a metallic. Once I've out outlined all of the edges in the mica powder, I'm going to come back with a slightly larger brush and smudge this out. This smudging just forms a sort of dark and sparkly halo around the edges of my molds. Mica powders are a really fun tool that you can use for all different purposes, and this is just one functional way that you can apply mica powders. It's hard to catch the metallic of the mica powder on camera, but when I shift this planter in the light, you can definitely see the sparkle. I buff away that excess mica powder, and so I just have this really soft and sort of aged looking halo. This is a really fun effect, and I repeated the process around all four of the molds on my planter. Here's the finished product. I think it's absolutely beautiful from a dollar store planter to this. What do you guys think? You can find links for everything I use in the description for this post. More Brush by Brandy on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. And don't forget to click that subscribe button.